Hello, this is Keith Thal, and today's tutorial will answer your question, how do I use the indirect function in Excel? I'll be using Excel 2016 for this tutorial. So let's first talk about sheet references and cell references. So what is a sheet reference? A sheet reference is where you're making a reference to another sheet in your workbook. For example, in this formula, and formulas start with an equal sign. I'm going to refer to the sold item sheet. And then within that uh, sheet, I'm going to look for the cell reference of F116. Now for a cell reference, you're just making a reference to a cell within your current sheet. In other words, you're taking the equal sign and within, uh, and then after the equal sign, you're going to uh, uh, reference or select a cell within that sheet which is G31 in this case. So let's go back to the sheet reference example and let's dissect um, this uh, formula right here. So basically within your single quotes right here is uh, going to be um, your sheet name and we put the uh, single quotes between that because of the fact that sold items is two separate words there, there are spaces within that name and now the explanation point means that you are referring to a sheet instead of a single cell reference in your current sheet and uh, again a single pop apostrophes are for in case you have spaces within your sheet name and in most cases you can't have spaces within a formula um, so let's now talk about the indirect function well the purpose of the indirect function it takes a text string that represents a reference within your current sheet or another sheet within your workbook and converts it back to an actual reference. So here's an example of the indirect function. And the indirect function again takes a text string. So if you put a text string within a formula, you have to enclose it within double quotes. So again, text strings and formulas are always contained in double quotes. As you can see here in this uh, uh, on this example here on our next screen we're going to explain this one further because we're taking a uh, we're dynamically placing a value within a, a indirect function so how do we make the indirect function dynamic and this is how we make it dynamic uh, by taking using the join uh, uh, parameters which is considered the ampersand sign so what we're going to do is since the indirect function takes a text string again we put everything within double quotes and for the first part we're going to have uh, remember uh, apostrophe because we're taking a in this example, we're taking a sheet name, and then uh, we're going to join that with the value of cell G31. And then we're going to, again, join the last part of it, in, uh, which is a text string, and uh, which is also enclosed in double quotes. So let's go over to our worksheet, and you'll see exactly how this works. So we're here back in our worksheet and we're going to show you exactly how we can put in place the indirect function within your worksheet. I have four sheets here and this is the uh, current sheet which is I just named it report and basically I'm taking the revenues and expenses of these sheets and then uh, we're taking the totals from these sheets and we're placing it here 
and then we're going to uh, uh, a formula for the net income which is basically the formula of revenue min minus expenses as you can see within this formula up here but up here we want to be able to dynamically change these values by selecting uh, the sheet names basically or the months in this case and so what I did was I created a drop down list box here and you could do that by going to your data tab and doing data validation and within your data validation you're going to select a list in this case the list refers to this source which is basically from D2 on down to D4 and what that does is it creates a drop down list here and it uh, gives you these values which match up with the values in this list as I defined it so whenever I change the values in in this um, cell right here these values will change so as you can see it changes the values in March again it changes the values so let's dissect this uh, formula the indirect function here so basically what this is again is doing is taking the indirect function which takes a text string and converts it back to a reference so uh, as you can see is um, this formula is taking the value of b1 in this current sheet which is here and then once this function gets executed it takes that value which in this case is March converts it first to a string and then converts it back to an actual reference and so that's how the indirect function works so again let's verify that this is working so the March sheet I'm gonna find the revenues again the uh, the revenues will exist in a 16 of the sheet name March so let's go to a 16 a 16 14 246 and that's exactly what we have this is going to look at the same sheet name but in a different cell which is c10 and is going to grab that value from sheet March so let's go over here as you can see C10 is equal to 1782 so that's how you could use the indirect function within Excel I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you today and please like and share this video because other people may want to know how they could utilize this function uh, within their daily activities at work again my name is Keith Hall thanks for stopping by have a great day.